This is the song of the saints to say. His only friends are Walter Wick and the stars falling through. There's nothing else can push him around. And the boy's got nothing else to show him the way.
call you honey, honey, then they show you their scars like a tattoo. Oh, <laughs> 
He had been married for a year now. It was natural for him to have engaged himself in this way. A traveler needs a base, needs a home to come back to, and his love for Maria was sincere. The further he drove away from home, the more his feeling of attachment to her grew. It created an invisible bond through space. He was connected to her through lines of dust, through the microscopic rubber particles that rubbed off his car tires onto the streets he was driving. She would think of him all the time, especially now that she was carrying his baby. She kept his photograph on the night table in a silver frame. He had given her this present when he had come back from one of his trips. No other occasion. It had just been a declaration of his love to her. It was the first thing she would see when she woke up in the morning. The black and white picture showed him with long trousers and a bare chest, standing on a white beach with the ocean behind him, slightly squinting into the Pacific sun. He already looked like a father, maybe because he had his shoes on in the sand. They were dusty. There was always dust everywhere. It stuck to the side of his car, to the hubcaps. It settled on the dashboard, accumulated under the hood where it mingled with oil. Dust was like an anonymous residue of all corporeal things, things that had once been objects of some kind or another. Objects that had had definite shape, consistency, and purpose. Dust was absolutely anti-shape, meaningless and formless with no other purpose than always imposing this quality on the things that remained, covering the features of definite things, making them disappear, drowning them, disintegrating their reality into the chaos of a powdery substance that had no color, 
no smell, no real life of its own anymore. Dust was filling up the spaces in between all things, as if their separation and individuality was evil, as if the clarity of a well-polished surface was too powerful an expression of its idea, as if a clean thing should not make its claim on reality unless it became an impure, dusty subject, a prey for historical transformation and death. He closed his window, took out another cigarette and lit it. The road was a sharp, straight line stretching out ahead, leading over low slopes and hills in a gold and ochre landscape. Birds would fly away at the last moment when the car approached, and then, as it would disappear into the distance, and its sound would fade away, they would fly back returning to exactly the same spot. Je vais toujours être à peine. 